All right, so what do you got there? So I'm just going to be a replacement TCU here. So this unit uh, basically will now command properly torque values for that other in, um, axle. And uh, hopefully it'll be up to speed and also going in the right direction. All right, if you guys remember, we were having problems with the regen on that first axle. Um, turns out one of the issues we couldn't program ourselves, that was from the manufacturer's program. So Eric here actually had to hop on a plane, bring him that TCU and get it reprogrammed at the factory. We were trying to do it remotely. We were having issues and it was to the point where we just wanted this truck going. It was quicker and easier to just get a ticket, fly there, have them reprogram a new one. Now we're back, Eric's installing it. And with any luck, fingers crossed, that should fix our regen issue. And we'll be back to driving around this week. All right, and that is the new one going in. Sure is. All right, this is the nice thing about having it all in the back behind the cab right here. Doing that entire change of that computer there probably took all of three minutes. Undo four screws, unclip it, clip the new one back in. Imagine if we had to go under a dash and work under there. This is this was such a simpler, easier way to service it. Look at that. Are they spinning the right direction? Yep. They're both spinning the right way. Hey, they both regen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. I fixed it. <laughs> All, right. All right, there we go. We have fixed it. We got updated the coating. We got the new TCU with the proper coating. Now both axles regen the proper way, the way it should be. It works. It drives. The next step is to take it on the road. Make sure it's not regening, but it's not on the test here, which means it hopefully won't on the test there. But we said that last time and we found out so fingers crossed um we'll get her out there hopefully this fixes it okay so good news yesterday we got the new motor control unit going in we now have proper regen on both axles forward and reverse it's working, we tested on the jack stand. Now that Eric got a good night's sleep, we are back at it here tomorrow. We're just doing some little tests in the yard, drive it forward and back, because it's working once we got it up on jacks. Once it's in the air, it's fine. On the ground, we're just doing some testing to make sure it's fine. So far, it's doing really good. Peter is just doing some programming right now with the region. We want it to come on a little bit smoother. We've been seeing some voltage spikes, basically like, hey, we got it working on that first axle. The motor control unit is doing its job, but right now it's just a matter of making sure it comes on nice and gradually so we don't see a sudden voltage spike and that programming done, we'll just do a little bit more test and then take it out on the road and hopefully it should all be a good solid truck.
Yeah, right? We got two. Had two little voltage spikes, but that's when I was fucking around and kind of was trying to get a voltage spike. But I could cause a voltage. We'll have a little debrief here. Yeah. Let me just get her apart. Yeah. That's so sick. Awesome. Yeah. All right, that went fantastic. We took it for a bunch of drives up and down Coldwater Road. Went down the road, we got it right up to highway speed. I was doing 90 with this thing. It ran fantastic. I came full off the throttle onto the regen at speed. It was able to slow down, no fault. Both axles did the same. Peter's gonna go have a look at that data we recorded over the last hour of driving and just double check that everything's good. We'll play around with a little bit of the throttle mapping, but overall, this was a huge success. The truck is now working how it should. The regen is working how it should. Now I think the next thing is time to put the truck to work. Well, if you made it into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely click that logo on the page. And uh, thanks so much for supporting us on our merch store. Really appreciate that. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, X, and on TikTok. And don't leave yet. We got some great content on the page. So keep exploring and thanks for joining the journey with us.